All right, so I'm going to uh, attempt to show you a couple things uh, using OBD11. Um, there wasn't much info out there when I got mine, so I've kind of learned my my way through it just by uh, poking around. Um, so I'm by no means an expert. I'm just showing you the things that I have done. Um, we're going to check IQ and adjust that today. Uh, we can look at idle. And uh, I did a five-speed swap on my car. So when I first got it, that's why I bought OBD11 was to recode it. So I'll show that to um, if you need to do that. That's the easiest one. So if, once you're connected um, and the car is warmed up, which mine is, um, you know, you have to hit the connect button, and then I go to the home screen, go to engine. Um, for the five-speed swap, that was the first thing I did that's pretty easy it's under coding so you just click on coding it says value 0002 um, if you want to change that when it was automatic it'll say um, 001 or 0001 and then you're going to change it to 0002 and then you just hit the the check button the green thing down there I'm not changing it because I already did but you would just change that to a, uh, a 2 from a 1 and hit go and it would say uh, value accepted or whatever so that's all you do for that um, one thing I haven't found to do is how to get back to the engine tab without going all the way back through to home the options engine and there from, um, from there out um, there's the live data button you guys have probably figured out how to use that um, so it says, I'm just going by something I found on TDI Club. It says, uh, uh, temperature has to be at least 80 Celsius. So you can see, I hope you can see it. Mine says 93. So we're good to go there. So it's saying my IQ is 3.4 and my RPMs is 903, which is what this says. Um, RPM should be at 903, eight, or it says 870 to 950. I think somewhere I saw though it should be 903 so I'm just gonna leave it there um, excuse me but we will show you how you can change the idle and I actually had it bumped up because it made it a little bit smoother so you go to adaptations and then you type in um, what channel you want I think idle is channel 2 okay it'll scan it's still green. There it goes. All right, it's working. So right now, our factory value is 32768, and you, I don't know if you can see it. We're at 903 RPM. If you want to change that, um, I think if I went to 32800, you'll just have to play with it. Um, it'll raise your idle a little bit and smooth it out. You have to hit the green arrow or the green check mark. So the adaptation accepted. Now my idle is at 924 or 945. So you can hear it did actually raise it a little bit. But to, for checking the IQ, I'm going to leave it at 903. So 32768. You can hear it go back down. I don't know if you can hear it on the, on the camera or not. All right, so now we're going to go to channel 1. And you'll see what happens here. It'll say function cancel disruption in control module. And that's where I got stuck. It won't show any info on the IQ. And that's because I didn't put in the security code. Um, which somebody online helped me with that. So I'll go back through to engine. And that'll say security access. So you click on that. And the password is 12233. So you click on that. Hit OK and it's working there it'll tell you I have a connection now let's try it again all right login code accepted now if we go to adaptations and type in channel one it will actually let us see so there you go so 903 rpm 3.2 iq and it tells you your voltage too mine's bouncing around at like 1.4 1.5 so it's right at the the lower limit so it's it's running rich um, that's as it's already as high as I can go that's why we might do the hammer mod here too so the factory value you're gonna have is three two seven six eight so and you'll hear a change when you enter this 
and my car actually does not want to idle right at this setting so you'll see it says now I'm down to point so factory setting I'm at point six and you hear the car shaking um, which we don't want so I'm gonna do the hammer mod um, and when you do that it's, from what I've read you're supposed to leave it at that factory three three two seven six eight and we'll try to bring it up um, by tapping on it um, like I said I've never done this before and I'm not a pro so if I do it wrong um, I'm sorry but I'm gonna give it a try uh, so I have a brass hammer and a 30 Torx uh, driver we're gonna loosen the bolts and uh, see if we can bring it up and then adjust it from here so right now we're at the factory setting so I, from what I've heard that's best I want to try to bring it up to like uh, maybe a four or five and then we can adjust it from there but you can hear my car starting to shake it does not like having a 0 0.4 0 0.6 um, IQ so I'll be right back all right so from what I gather we loosen these three bolts just a little bit Brass hammer, we're going to tap it that way. And I'm going to see if it changed the value at all. It did. We are now at 2.2 at factory settings. So I'm going to go a little more. I pretty much used just the weight of the hammer. And you can see now we're at, at 32678, we're at 5 on the IQ at 903 RPM so it definitely works um, so now from here with the software let's uh, see what we can move it around so if you click on that let's type in 32 uh, maybe 800 and see where that takes it so we're at 5.2 hit the green arrow okay so that oh it won't let us go anymore it said it did not change the value. Let me try to, excuse me, let's try that again. Three, two, let's try three, two, eight, zero, zero. Wait, let's try three, two, seven, zero, zero and see what happens. There, you could hear the engine change and that took the IQ up to 6.8. So it, now we can fine tune it from here. I'm going to leave it at the factory setting though. Three, two, um, seven six eight and hit the green check mark there you can hear a change so three two seven six eight with the hammer mod I'm at five about five five point two um, on the IQ at 903 rpm and let's see our voltage is at 1.7 so we're kind of right in the middle of the acceptable range so I think I'm gonna leave it there that is how you check IQ and we showed you that coding to do the automatic to manual thing um, using OBD 11 there's not much out there on this right now so that's pretty much all I've done I haven't used any of these other things um, but you can also look at the the live data here if you get on uh, TDI club there's a whole bunch of forums threads on um, what the data blocks are and what, what you're looking at because in here it doesn't tell you anything it just gives you um, the numbers and um, the channels and some values so it's hard to know and see I lost my connection again so um, it is frustrating but it does work and it's cheaper than Ross Tech um, I don't think it's a replacement for it obviously but you can do some basic things so and you can also scan um, for, for check engine lights and stuff like that so, but that's it for now. All right, since I'm in a video making mood, um, we're gonna do a Flashzilla video. Um, uh, let's see. So I got this Flashzilla, and uh, they gave me a stage two and three tune, just because I wasn't sure which one I wanted to run. Um, I've been running stage two and it works pretty well um, I was getting quite a bit of smoke but we just adjusted the IQ so I'm thinking that'll be down but I want to see um, what the stage 3 feels like I'm running about 
oh, 18 pounds of boost uh, consistently once once it spikes. It does spike up to about 20, 21, and then goes down to 18 or 17. Um, but I finally got my little boost gauge installed here. It's kind of ghetto, but it works. Um, so I'd like to try and see what uh, stage 3, if it feels any different. So um, I just plugged it in. I'm going to go down to... Uh, right file to ECU. So we have the original. Ooh, originale. Must be French. Um, and I have the stage 2 in right now. So I haven't done this before, so I hope I'm doing it right. But I'm just going to go to stage 3 and hit yes. Selected stage 3. Yes. And we'll see what it does here. Switch the ignition on. So I got it on, and my radio's off, and my heat's off, and everything. I guess it, it can take a while, and we don't want to run out of voltage. So press yes. Communicating. Preparing the programming. So right now, I guess it's erasing. Oh, no, this is programming. So I'll turn this back on when it gets a little further. All right, so fast forward about, it's only been about five minutes. Um, you can see it's almost done. Um, we'll just kind of wait through the end here. and Very simple. Um, probably just up downloading the software and uploading your file and stuff is the biggest pain. Once you get that, it's pretty easy. So it's almost done. It says verifying. Ooh, that's a cute little sound. All right, turn off ignition cable and remove, or ignition and remove cable. So ignition's off, cable's out. So that is that. Um, hey, it starts. So. The only lights on right now, that's my cruise light and the brake light, so that's a good sign. Um, one thing I did want to do was check uh, the IQ. I'm curious to see if it changes at all um, with the tune. So I'm going to plug in my OBD11 here. Uh, and just so you know, if you get OBD11 and you don't have an Android device, you can get a Kindle on Amazon for like 40, 39 or 40 bucks. And then uh, you have to download uh, the Google App Store or whatever to get the app. But there's a, a YouTube video um, that shows you how to do that because the Kindle Fire uses the Android uh, software or whatever. But you do have to download some files. But it does work, so if you don't want to buy a phone or a different tablet, just get the Fire. I did, and then I just gave it to my kids to put all their apps on. So, um, but it does it does work for this for 40 bucks. It kind of makes it worth it. So, all right, we're connecting here. Um, all right, I'll pause this and then fast forward to the IQ, and we'll see what it's at. All right, so just uh, so you can see it again, to get to IQ, you hit the options engines make sure your green light is on oh it's blinking red all right um i'll go to adaptation channel one okay hopefully it works it says not available we talked about that in the last video you can go to live data but i like to go to the adaptations menu because then you can change it if you need to so you have to go to securities, one, two, two, three, three, okay. Code accepted, now we go back to adaptations, channel one. All right, so after the tune, uh, we're still at five on the IQ, so I'm gonna leave it there. All right, so we did the hammer mod, we checked the IQ. And then we moved up to a stage three tune. So we're gonna take it for a little drive and see how it works. 
Um, it seemed like when I did the check the IQ and set it with the stage two tune, a lot of my smoke went away. So I'm hoping stage three doesn't smoke too bad. I have I just have the Sprint, the cheap Sprint nozzles. They're Basio, but they're not the DLCs or anything. Um, so that definitely did add some smoke to it. But we'll see how it does here. spiked up to 25 so I'm guessing that's not too good for the stock turbo um, I didn't smoke a whole lot maybe I'll do a backwards shot but I don't like how that boost spikes so hard so if I can roll into it easier it doesn't go over 20 but decent hill up here I'm gonna try and do more like a steady pull Start at 2,000 RPM again in third gear. It's not fast enough road to be in much of a higher gear, and we got a pretty good hill here. So, as you can see, there is some smoke. Seems like it just spikes up and then it does settle back out as long as I don't stuff it at lower RPM. The thing I don't like is that if you see my trip meter is at 333 miles and I'm at half a tank already. Um, I, I did nozzles, bigger tires, and the tune, so I don't know which one affected it the most. But And I've done a lot of idling and kind of fooling around driving, so I have to fill it up and drive it normal and see if that makes a difference but I was hoping to not take too much of a hit on fuel economy usually I'm around uh, 450 at half a tank um, so not real thrilled about that it is more fun to drive but pretty big difference in fuel economy but that could be the tires too so 